Hello, welcome to my channel. This is just a very quick unbagging. I wanted to do this on camera because um, I was sent a message on one of my videos offering me a gift from Happy Hippo Pens. There's a little or Happy Hippo Find, sorry, Happy Hippo Finds, and the hippo on the sticker, which is very, very cute. Elizabeth contacted me and very generously offered me, I thought it was a pen. There is more than one pen in here. And she gave me a choice of pens that she creates and sells on her Etsy store. So here it is. I gave her a screenshot of the pens that I liked just so she had an idea what kind of style I liked and this is what I've got and I'm quite flabbergasted by the generosity I had I think 40 people who would watch my sorry 40 subscribers on my YouTube at this time and I have got these gorgeous diamond painting pens from <laughs> well a stranger but I would say that um, it's a friend from across the, um, the big ocean so I've got the squishy <laughs> cactus I thought the cactus was very very cute and I know my daughter's gonna go absolutely psycho for it there's a squishy on the end so hopefully you don't um, lose your placement and there's a cap now Fancy Nancy, Nancy Higginbottom has raved about Happy Hippo pens she is notorious for buying toys and unveiling these toys <laughs> and um, yeah I didn't think I'd be able to get them because coming from the States to Tasmania the shipping is a lot let alone anything else um, I am a bit of a fan of the Rich Craft pen um, being a heavy pen um, and I hadn't been really thinking about making the move to a diamond pen from somebody who sold in the States so having this is a real real treat and you know what to be honest I would probably go and buy more pens from um, Happy Hippos from Elizabeth and I love these little fat pens I think that's so cute I thought that was going to be a much bigger pen it's really really light um, that's just gorgeous um, so yeah I'm, I'm going to have some let me get rid of the bubble wrap because it's a bit crinkly I'm going to have so much fun being able to move my pens this is my pen collection that I have in my instant grab it mug so I converted this pen this was a um, like a white out pen so the ink had run out and I actually put in a whole pink pen and I think I trimmed it down so it fitted and I had it so that when the button is down um, it shoved it out the end so I've got this I don't think I've ever used it I've got another pen that I converted again it's a blue pen down the middle of a power tank uni ball pen so it's got a nice grippy I don't think I've ever used that one either I have these I bought these I have barely used the red one but I thought it looked gorgeous I love the look of them I have used the blue now I know there's a lot of mixed opinions on people using these I really really like them pickup is fantastic you just warm it up on the wax tip um, very very gently the pickup is really good putting down is really easy on either the first checkerboard um, when you're doing the initial checkerboard the open checkerboard placement but you cannot use this tip for pushing anything with any great force you need to use the skinny tip which I have got wax in it's well gone by now but I've got wax in the other end and you can use the skinny end to actually drive the drill into place 
but it does tend to scratch. It's quite um, sharp. Either way, these are actually nice and comfortable pens. I don't particularly like the swapping one side to another as I go, so I haven't used them beyond that, but I did love the colours. So that was an early buy in my pen journey. This was an experiment. This has a plastic lid. It's supposed to be a square drill. Now I know my camera, no it's not going to focus. It's it looks actually like a round end and somebody's put a square punch into it to try and hammer it into a square shape. Um, I don't think it made any difference. I had a pen topper. Again, it's something that my one-year-old goes for quite regularly when she goes for the jar. I went for the expense of a Richcraft pen. I got a fat pen and I got a long skinny pen. The purple and orange is significant with my husband and I. This is actually more orange. It looks quite yellow in the picture, but um, orange anyway. It, it was significant. This now has been my favorite go-to pen. It's thick, it's light, oops, excuse me. Um, and that has been my favorite pen. It's got a three placer in the back end and I will be getting more Richcraft pens in the future. I think I put them in butt in so that it protects the delicate tip um, when it goes into my mug. I also keep in there my tweezers. So I've got, uh, I think it was three tweezers in there. There's actually four. One has been bent out of shape. Um, the silver one is a ceramic pair of tweezers. I haven't really used them for diamond painting. I think they were for something else. Uh, but the black tweezers, the heavy duty Huacan tweezers when you do get um, tweezers or Evermoment which gives you unmarked black tweezers. They're similar weights. They're actually, there is a number, yep, ESD14 if you're ever buying a set. Um, you can get sets of 10. I think I've got a set of all the tweezers, different heads. You can get them. Um, but uh, yeah, that's my pen jar. And now I've got these pretty little pens that I can stock up with my wax or my blue tack as I actually use. And I can't get over how light this is. It actually looks quite heavy. Um, and uh, yeah, I can go to and grab. I know my daughter's gonna go nuts for this. She's just gonna try and eat the thing. And this is so gorgeous, the crystal um, with the um, shells and they feel comfortable. So anyway, what I will do, I will use these three pens on my next whip and chat and I will be able to give you some feedback. Um, as I say, um, Happy Hippo Finds is on Etsy. Happy Hippo Finds is all one word. I will put a link in the description and you can go and check out Elizabeth's pens. Um, this woman has a heart of gold. I am so grateful to you, Elizabeth, for your generosity and um, especially with the cost of shipping um, and the labor that you've done to make these gorgeous pens into diamond painting pens. So I am very, very appreciative of that. And thank you so much for your generosity. And thank you, Nancy, for um, sharing your love of Elizabeth's pens on your um, YouTube channel and your Facebook page. So yeah, just wanted to share with you a little something of some of the generosity that goes on in the DP, in the DP world. I know we've had um, some dramas around the traps in the last couple of days, so hopefully this will brighten up um, some of the feelings that are out there towards um, people. We are all loving a hobby. Elizabeth is selling these pens um, to make money, to invest in more pens, but she is also generous in giving away what she has too. So um, we all do this in some way, shape or form. We've got people who will do diamond paintings as gifts for family and friends all the time. And um, we need to encourage that spirit of generosity and not this um, 
spirit of biting back. I think that's reared its head at the moment. So yes, thank you very, very much. And I will see you on a whip and chat and look out for these funky new pens. I just squashed the envelope. Um, I was trying to actually take off the thank you sticker so I could keep it and put it on something. I just put my hand on the envelope and I found that there was these sitting in the envelope as well. I've forgotten that Elizabeth puts stickers in. So she's also put in, I think it's the, it's a three placer, it doesn't say four. There's a six placer, there's a nine placer and there's a straightener. Oh my goodness, I haven't got a straightener at all. And I have been wanting to try a straightener. There's a straightener. So yes. Um, completely blown away by your generosity um, and hey who doesn't love an orca we were watching TV about orca um, included in it today is a David Attenborough documentary was playing thank you thank you so much bye thank you Elizabeth <laughs>